Good morning, everyone. Today we are listening to our hearts and listening to God. So first, let's listen to our hearts. I want you to take your hand and put it on your chest over your heart. body and that's what keeps us alive and moving and playing and working everything that we do we couldn't do without our heart moving that blood around and when we know God there's even more going on in there when we know God we have in our hearts joy and love and forgiveness and peace and courage and strength all of these amazing things but you know, we talk about these things, but what do they do? The same way that, that our actual heart, the heart in here, moves blood through our bodies to keep us moving, those things that we hold in our hearts from God, the love and the peace and the strength and the forgiveness, those that keep us moving and working for God. That's how we are God's hands and feet, how we speak with love and do good things for God. This is my heart, or at least heart, that I keep at home with me. I keep it hanging right here by my keys all the time, and it reminds me to love and it reminds me that I am loved. And I think of these things every time that I grab my keys and I head out the door. It reminds me to take that love with me out the door, out of my apartment, and into the world. And Jesus says something about when we live like this, when we love like this. Jesus reminds us that God blesses those who are pure in heart, for they will see God. And God blesses those who work for peace, for they will be called children of God. So when we let all of these things from God that live in our hearts, the joy and the love, forgiveness, courage, and strength, when we let those things be the things that keep us moving and talking and playing and working, then we are following God and God loves that. God loves us. And now you probably know that this week is kind of an important week in our country. Actually, it's a really important week because this Tuesday is election day and you've probably heard your parents or other grown-ups talking about the election. Uh, maybe you've heard about it when your grown-ups have the TV on or the radio on because it seems like it's kind of everywhere. It's a pretty big deal. And None of you are old enough to vote quite yet, but someday you will be. So I want you to know that even voting is something that we can do with hearts full of God's love. That, that our hearts can guide us in making that decision. And when we do that, even our vote is a way of following God and of following God and doing God's work. Not this year, but soon for all of you. But of course, in the meantime, you can still follow God with your heart in all of the ways that you love and learn and even play. Just remember to take that love in your heart out into the world. Will you pray with me? God, thank you for these young people and their 
hearts full of your love, ready to do your work. We pray that you would guide them in the ways that you have for them to do good today. We pray for our election, the decisions that we make, the decisions that our leaders make, and the world that our children are growing into to make a difference for your vision. Amen.